Hey guys, welcome to this special uh, short video about how to use a distraction cheat sheet. So this video is based upon the live session we had about how, how to deal with too much homework. If you haven't watched that session yet, make sure to check it out. Uh, link is in the description below. And uh, I will explain how the distraction cheat sheet works and how you can implement it in your daily studies and when you're doing work. So let's get into it. So the first thing we need to know is what is a distraction cheat sheet used for? And first of all, what is a distraction cheat sheet anyway? So a distraction cheat sheet is basically a piece of paper or like a separate document that records all your common distractions and therefore helps you to remove it uh, from your um, study area once uh, you start studying or working. So you don't get distracted and uh, don't let unnecessary stress build upon you. So how this basically works is based on the cookie jar effect. And what, that, what this uh, cookie jar effect tells us is that if you have a cookie jar um, and you walk past, you walk past it, you're inclined, you would probably be inclined to have the cookie instead of actually uh, intending to do something else. And that can distract you from um, achieving what you want to in a certain period of time, which can of course lead to uh, other complications. So how, how does a distraction she she look like? Well, it's, it's a simp it's really simple. So what you have is a normal piece of paper, or you can type it up on a document, a Word document or a Google Docs or anything like that. And you basically want to write whatever you get distracted by. So for example, this could be common things, could be your phone, uh, specific apps even like social media, um, the internet sometimes. And these can be uh, harder to control, but also manageable. And it can also be external. So things like food, uh, uh, headphones, your watch or whatever it is. So when we talk about distractions, it, they can range from anything, like I said before. So for, say for example, uh, this is your table and your phone is over here, okay? And then you get a notification from your phone. So it's buzzing. And then you automatically are inclined to grab your phone. And as a result, you get distracted. And you might receive a message from that phone saying, oh, we, uh, it's probably from your friend or something, so we can hang out or something. You know, um, that can cause you to be distracted. And this, the phone concept and people who own a phone, uh, this is probably the biggest uh, source of procrastination during the day. And basically what the distraction sheet she allows you to do is to remind you to completely remove this and hopefully it won't distract ever again. And, and probably you might be thinking, why can't just uh, I rely on myself? Well, the main thing is you shouldn't trust yourself. And this is co uh, commonly called something called willpower. A lot of people depend on willpower to not do things, but eventually they will. And in order to remove this totally, you need to completely abandon it from your studies, from your study uh, area. So remove this somewhere else. So, and you'll do that after you write, for example, phone on your distraction cheat sheet or DCS for short. And sometimes when you're studying on your laptop, uh, especially like I do, um, often uh, you have desktop apps, apps that can uh, trigger some certain notifications to pop up. For example, if, if you are like me and you use Discord, you know, uh, you have a certain notification from your friends asking if they help or something. Or they might be totally unrelated or they send you this meme or like this uh, funny video or whatever it is. And that can also distract you. But this is... Um, this is where I recommend a Chrome extension, specifically a Chrome extension called Forest. Uh, it's available um, in the Chrome web store. You can install it for free. Uh, it doesn't cost you any money, all good. Um, and basically with Forest, you can adjust uh, which websites you're allowed to access or, um, or visit. So for example, if you get distracted by, for example, YouTube, uh, you can adjust it to forest and it will 
it will automatically block YouTube uh, from, from your laptop when you're studying. And therefore, when you access it, you won't be able to. Uh, or if you're using YouTube for education purposes, use uh, incognito mode. Which uh, doesn't, uh, which normally doesn't give you recommendations, so you're less distracted by it. Or if it's uh, more addictive stuff, for example, like Instagram, then probably you might want to ban that totally and not use incognito at all. Um, also, this includes for other social media apps as well. Social media in general as an umbrella term. So. You might want to include these as well into your distraction cheat sheet. So I'm going to put YouTube, Instagram, and yeah. So these can be your main distractions, but they can also be external, like your phone, or probably a common distraction for me would be my headphones. Just an example. Uh, of course, these can be different depending on your circumstances. And eventually, when you write these on your distraction cheat sheet, you will be inclined to remove them from your study space. And therefore, you won't be distracted by them. And you can uh, do things more productively. And therefore, it's a win-win solution. So I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe to the Young Innovators uh, YouTube channel. And follow us on Facebook. And yeah. And thanks for watching.